Hey, this is Pat with RacketStringTips.com and we are here today to talk a little bit more about racket string patterns. This is a follow-up from my previous video on rackets that are currently in production and where to find the racket stringing patterns. And I went over that um, in detail on my last video. And this time around I had a uh, subscriber uh, send me a message, uh, give a shout out to Carl, and he provided um, actually a link to uh, where you can find rackets that are out of production, old rackets, so forth. So I wanted to um, kind of just discuss that a little bit. And basically, uh, Clipper USA, the the producers of the uh, the Clipper Mate racket stringing machine, which I'm currently working on, um, the uh, stringing course as well. Uh, but that. Uh, that website has a pretty extensive list of rackets that have um, that are out of production and so you can find the stringing pattern so that way if, if by chance you're stringing one of those rackets you're not exactly sure what the pattern is you need some help with that you're new um, that's the perfect place to go and I'll go ahead and link that in my video and I'll also um, uh, you know give yeah give the give the link so uh, again, it's Clipper USA just for tennis. It also has squash and badminton frames as well. So check that out. If you have a racket that's no longer in production, you're looking for the stringing pattern, that is the place to go. So I just wanted to make a follow-up from my last video, that video, and this video. You should have a pretty good uh, list of racket stringing patterns. And that's all I have for today, so we'll see you next time. Thanks.